the Republican Party finds itself embroiled in an internal conflict, grappling with the divisive issue of social security reform and specifically, the contentious proposal of raising the retirement age. Within GOP ranks, there is a growing faction of conservatives who advocate for implementing reforms aimed at curbing social security spending, with a key focus on adjusting the retirement age. At the heart of the debate lies the argument put forth by reform proponents that raising the retirement age would serve as a strategic measure to alleviate the strain on social security funds without necessitating benefit cuts. Advocates assert that any adjustments to the retirement age would be implemented gradually and with careful consideration, ensuring minimal disruption for individuals nearing retirement age. The proposition to raise the retirement age has sparked intense discussions within Republican circles, with proponents and opponents alike presenting compelling arguments. While some argue that such reforms are essential for the long-term sustainability of Social Security, Others express concerns about the potential impact on older Americans and the need for alternative solutions to address fiscal challenges. As the GOP navigates this internal battle over Social Security reform, the outcome remains uncertain, with implications that could reverberate throughout the party and beyond. The resolution of this debate will not only shape the future of Social Security policy but also reflect broader ideological shifts within the Republican Party on issues of fiscal responsibility and social welfare. The internal debate within the Republican Party regarding potential reforms to Social Security has intensified, with contrasting viewpoints emerging on the proposal to raise the retirement age. While some GOP members advocate for this measure as a means to address fiscal challenges and ensure the long-term viability of Social Security, others vehemently oppose it, citing political ramifications and concerns about its impact on working Americans. Opponents of raising the retirement age, including Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri, assert that such a move would be politically detrimental, providing Democrats with ample ammunition to accuse GOP candidates of wanting to cut Social Security benefits. Hawley characterized the proposal as a horrible idea and criticized Republicans for potentially alienating working-class voters by endorsing measures that would delay retirement benefits. The recent release of a budget plan by the House Republican Study Committee RSC, which includes over 170 GOP lawmakers, thrust the issue of Social Security reform into the spotlight once again. The RSC budget proposed modest adjustments to the retirement age for future retirees to account for increases in life expectancy, although specific numbers were not cited. Additionally, the budget advocated four means testing, which would entail lowering benefits for the highest earning beneficiaries. The inclusion of these proposals in the RSC budget underscores the ongoing efforts within the Republican Party to address the fiscal sustainability of Social Security. However, the divergent opinions within the party reflect broader ideological divisions and strategic considerations, with GOP members grappling with the delicate balance between fiscal responsibility and political expediency. As the debate over Social Security reform continues to unfold, the outcome will not only shape the future of retirement policy but also influence the political landscape ahead of the upcoming election cycle. With both sides fiercely advocating their positions, the debate over raising the retirement age underscores the complexities and challenges inherent in addressing one of the nation's most significant social welfare programs. The debate surrounding potential reforms to entitlement programs, including Social Security, has become increasingly contentious, with Republicans emphasizing the need for changes to address the nation's escalating debt and ensure the long-term solvency of these programs. Advocates for reform argue that failing to make adjustments now could lead to more severe consequences down the line, making it imperative to take proactive measures to maintain the stability of Social Security and other entitlements. However, Democrats have seized upon the proposal to raise the retirement age, framing it as evidence of Republican intentions to cut Social Security benefits if they were to regain control of the White House and Senate. By highlighting this proposal, Democrats aim to mobilize support among voters who rely on Social Security benefits, casting Republicans as a threat to the integrity of these essential programs. Furthermore, Democrats have sought to associate the proposal with former President Trump, the presumptive GOP nominee, who has recently hinted at potential reforms to Social Security. 
By linking the proposal to Trump, Democrats hope to capitalize on public sentiment and paint a narrative of Republican-led efforts to undermine Social Security, particularly among older voters who may be wary of any changes to the program. The politicization of Social Security reform underscores the high stakes involved and the deep ideological divisions between the two parties on issues of fiscal policy and social welfare. As the debate intensifies, both Republicans and Democrats will continue to leverage the topic to galvanize their respective bases and shape the narrative surrounding entitlement programs in the lead-up to the next election cycle. The debate over potential reforms to Social Security has escalated within the political arena, with Republicans and Democrats at odds over the proposed changes. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer DN why condemned the plan as cruel and sharply criticized Republicans for their stance on Social Security, drawing attention to the stark divide between the two parties on this issue. Schumer's remarks underscore the deep-rooted political implications of Social Security reform, with Democrats seizing upon the proposal as an opportunity to portray Republicans as out of touch with the needs and desires of the American people. By invoking former President Donald Trump's remarks on potential cuts to Social Security, Schumer aimed to highlight what he sees as a pattern of disregard for essential social programs within the GOP. In response to Schumer's criticism, several prominent Republicans pushed back against the notion that reforming Social Security is tantamount to cutting benefits, emphasizing the need for comprehensive discussions on deficit reduction and fiscal responsibility. Senators like Mitt Romney Republican Utah cautioned against piecemeal approaches to Social Security reform, advocating instead for a holistic examination of government spending and tax policy. The debate over Social Security reform has become increasingly polarized, with both sides digging in their heels and refusing to compromise. President Biden has pledged to protect Social Security and Medicare, positioning himself as a staunch defender of these programs in the face of Republican proposals for reform. Despite the contentious nature of the debate, some Republicans argue that addressing the long-term sustainability of Social Security is imperative, even if it carries political risks. Senators like Rand Paul, Republican Kentucky, emphasize the need for gradual reforms to ensure the program's viability for future generations, pointing to historical precedents and projections of future funding shortfalls. As the debate rages on, the future of Social Security remains uncertain, with both parties grappling with the complexities of balancing fiscal responsibility with the preservation of vital social programs. The outcome of this debate will have far-reaching implications for millions of Americans who rely on Social Security benefits, making it a pivotal issue in the upcoming election cycle and beyond.